This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 2.8. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the Chapter 2 Supplemental Problems on page 7. Given the circuit shown here, suppose that I know four of the currents. Can I solve for the remaining currents? What I like to do is write everything on the schematic and see if I can solve things by looking at the quantities that I have. So it's 2 amps. I sub B is 3 amps. I sub D here is minus 5 amps. And I sub H is 4 amps. So got that here. Now, if I want to solve for the remaining currents, what I want to do is find a node where I know all but one current. So if you look at node number one here, I know two of the three currents. So I could use that to solve for the unknown current I sub C. The currents that enter the node will equal the currents that leave the node. Okay, so 3 amps is entering, 2 is leaving, and I sub C is leaving. So that means that I sub C is 1 amp. I can write that down here. If you look at node 2 here, I know this current, I know this current, but I don't know this current. So I can do the same thing again. Have the currents that enter the node equal the currents that leave the node. So what's entering is 2 amps and minus 5, and that equals what's leaving. Okay, so 2 minus 5 is minus 3, so this current is a minus 3. So you can leave it as a negative number. If it's already specified, you have no choice, but if you want to get rid of signs, you could just turn the direction of this around and be a plus 3 amps. It means the same thing. Let's look at node 3 next. I have this current and this current, but I don't know these two, so I need to maybe pick a different node. Let's look at node 5 over here. I know this current. I don't know this current, but I know this current. So I know, I know two of the three here, so let's sum the currents at this node. Okay, well, set whatever enters the node equals whatever leaves the node. And I have I sub G and 4 amps leaving. So that means that I sub G is equal to minus 7. In other words, minus 3 is entering, and I've got minus 7 plus 4 would be minus 3. So now I know that this current is minus 7 amps. This node, I know 3 of the 4 currents. I could solve for this one. I could also go to this node and do the same thing. If you want to try that, just to check your answer. So what's entering the node is minus 7 amps and I sub E, and what's leaving is 3 amps and minus 5. So the 3 amps and the minus 5 is a minus 2. If I bring the minus 7 over on the other side of the equation, it becomes a plus 7, and I sub E then is equal to 5 amps. You can find the details at the bottom of this page, but this is using Kirchhoff's current law to solve for unknown currents, and this is supplemental problem 2.8.